Hey y'all, Chachi here with a 1v1 Arabia Hunts War. This game was uh, played on AoE 2 HD edition. I'm playing here in red. I'm about a 1900 player on Steam. Maybe uh, 1550 on Googly. Just depends. And over here in blue, we have Ashley Lynn. I've played a few games with him in the past. He's a pretty decent player, about maybe 1850 on Steam. Anyway, I had some people asking about build orders for Hunt Wars, and uh, this is a pretty generic build order that I use that uh, I've just played with and gotten things from other people. Uh, first thing you want to do is pretty standard build for most most games and most civs is uh, six on sheep, and of course you're going to want to use your uh, force food drop off uh, to make sure you constantly have villager production coming out of your TCs. Uh, then after that, you're going to go put three on wood, and you can say see that Ashley Lynn is doing the same thing over here. Looking at the maps real quick, I here I have a pretty decent map. Uh, this wood can be easily protected by just putting some walls here. And, uh, this is probably a good place for material buildings. Putting them on top of a hill is always a good idea. This gold is for not in the best location. And uh, my second and third golds are also forward and not in great spots but I never like it when all my golds in one spot because if someone's forwarding you or trushing you that's never really a good thing uh, looking here at Ashley Lynn's base he's got he's got this wood here but other than that he's kind of kind of doesn't have a very good map he's got these terrible hills around his base which is never a good thing his main gold's forward on a hill his second gold is here and his well this is his third gold way out here that is really far away that's almost halfway between here and uh, where my base is at anyway so after three villagers on wood I then put another villager on sheep and after that, my 11th villager goes and lures the boar. And you can see that he gets back right when they're finishing that fourth sheet. So after I put my villager, lure the boar, my next four villagers will go to berries. And uh, Ashley Lynn. He went for kind of a similar build, not as good of a lure, uh, obviously you really want that ore to be under your TC, and his is a little out, it, you know, it's a game about efficiency, so you really, really would have been better to have it out here. You can see he's going for berries now, he probably has too many villagers on this floor, yeah, I think he usually went about 7, he's got... 8, he had 10, now he's going for berries. Hey, Mo. I throw 4 here, I got an extra one coming here, just not paying attention. You want to be luring in that next 4 when you got about 150 food on this 4. It really kind of just depends uh, what your, how far away your other 4 is, and you can see I noticed I had too many villagers on berries and moving on to farm and I never changed my gathering point which is a little bit problematic so after four on berries I throw up two farms usually you want those farms to go up at about six minutes and then your second farm to go up at 630 and this boar was being a real pain you know I lured him in then he ran away shot him and then he can just walked away. Usually when they lose aggro they'll go back to their uh, 
original starting position, so gotta lure him back in. That's a little bit of a pain in the ass. See, Ashley Lynn has his uh, other farm up, and he's gonna want to throw up another one here pretty soon. And uh, that's a pretty standard build for any time you're going in for a scout rush. So, if you were to go scout his base right now, uh, like my scout's coming in here, and yeah. When you see something, be careful for town centers. You don't want to get your scouts stuck under that. Uh, but yeah, if you're if you're scouting their base and you see two farms in the dark age, it's usually a good sign that they're going for a scout rush, which is pretty common on uh, for hunt wars to go into scouts and then uh, go right into. Archer shortly afterwards. Uh, got four on berries. I'm gonna, after building your two farms, I put the rest of the villagers on wood, and you can kind of go up on either 22 or. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, and shoot that scout. Ideally, you want to kill it, but uh, he got out of the way. But. I usually go up on 22 population, uh, it's 21 villagers, just because I would rather have the more eco rather than going up earlier. And you can see that I didn't get, uh, I already got it, but I didn't get loom until after I had the 22 population. And the reason for that is, is you really want to hold off until right before you click fetal age before you get loom because it helps your eco will be stronger, and uh, Ashley Lynn already asked it, but I'm sh he's already clicked up as well. Yeah, he's uh, 34. I'm at 30 34 now, so he's a little ahead of me. About the same time, went up on the same population. He's uh, gonna be building a barracks here pretty soon. Yeah, there it is. He's uh, seeing three villagers over there, and I, sh I usually I start putting my barracks up when I'm about 50% up, uh, with two villagers, and uh, you know you want to have that built so you can get a stable out right away as soon as possible. He's only got three on berries. He pulled one of his villagers from berries to build that. And I split my wood up. Uh, I should probably move this villager over a little closer, put her on the other side. You know, it's a game of efficiency. He, actually, Lynn would have done better to probably have another lumber camp. And let's see, he needs to get a stable out. So you should have your villagers ready to build that stable. So now they gotta walk, he's gonna lose time. And, uh, you know, mine are getting mine up. I'll probably have my stable up. Yeah, I'll have it up a little faster. Not a huge deal, but you know, it's want to be as fast as possible. And he really needs, he should really get another lumber camp up here. It, I like to have two woods in case one gets harassed, you're not totally screwed. But obviously his, his next closest wood's way up here, and that's not a, not a great spot. Archers here can harass it, and just never really went forward. He's assuming I'm going Scouts, he already has a spearman out. Um, one of the things I notice people do a lot is they usually overreact in a Hun's War and they will get way too many spearmen. Uh, if someone's going extremely heavy scouts, which you see sometimes, yeah, you're gonna need more spearmen, but I don't see that too often. And he probably scouted my two. Uh, yeah, so he doesn't know I have sale, but he probably scouted my farms and he knows that I'm going scouts. And see here, now I'm going to start transitioning to gold and throwing villagers on gold so that I can start getting archers out. So I'm going to get a range up here pretty soon, keep making scouts, and this is my bad, I didn't know. I know he had wall jet, I should be scouting and watching. I, I saw these two villagers here, and I was planning on harassing them, but obviously too slow, and 
You know, it would have been nice to get a villager kill there, obviously. Or at least stop that wall from going up. Getting my range up. He, let's see if Ashley Lynn, he's... He's on 32 population, I'm on 31. He might have more villagers or more scouts. And, oh, he has a spearman. I only did not make one yet. Probably should've, could've. He has another spearman out. He has more farms. He's not going for his gold yet. And I don't see any ranges from him, so he might be going heavier scouts. Not really sure yet. And uh, see me putting up a second range, making archers, and running into spearmen. That's bad. You don't want to do that. See, so, yeah. I. Oh, I didn't lose any health. So he. I wasn't paying attention. I could have microed it better. And I got scouts in my back base. My C, if I had that spearman out earlier, this wouldn't be a problem. I hope I don't lose the villager here. Nope, you had to get away for the spearman. And, uh, as this is bad, I should not leave him. I should not put a weak guy up here, and, uh, that's bad on my part. I should probably wall this as well. And I got these scouts being idle. He just has too many spearmen out. I could come around here. He should spread these spearmen out. I'm not going too heavy scouts. I usually only want to make about three or four scouts. I don't like going too heavy in them. Some people do more, some people do less. I'd just rather do archers. And I'm having to do skirmishers because I didn't have enough villagers on gold and I don't want these ranges being idle. But that's my bad. I'm going to wall this up because it's always nice to wall up. I know this wall is up eventually, I just don't know why I haven't done it yet. Also, I could have gone for these deer. Had I... I could have built my mill on this side. Would have made this walling off really easier. Oh well. Back over here. Maybe got hit by a spear. The scout's a little hurt. Just trying to avoid these spearmen. This hill. That's not a good place for a hill with this gold. He has a really bad map. He's going heavy on gold now. For two archery range production, you want to have seven villagers on gold. He's going eight. Let's see. Uh, does he have blacksmith up? No. This guy's rangers. He's starting to go archers. I got some in here. Starting to finish this wall up here. I he could he could abuse this, but he's not. He's playing a lot more defensively. He's got more military units out than I do. He should probably try to maybe press an engagement here with this spearman. He obviously doesn't really know what I have. I got archers and skirmishers definitely aren't gonna be ideal, but he's got some weak scouts in here. If this is engaged right, it could could really go either way. Got a hill bonus. Hill bonuses are huge. You receive 25% less damage if you're above them, and you take 20. You take 25% less, and you do 25% more. I was, got my blacksmith up. Probably a little late for that. And I really need to get flushing. If I remember right, I think I forget about flushing. I don't get it till awfully late, which is not not good at all. And. Let's see. Engagement. Not very good engagement for me. He's gonna pull his archers out. And uh, he's gonna lose a few. That's not good for him. Try, probably trying to get on top of that hill. These scouts are gonna be a real pain. Nature's not being nice to me either. I need to pull these archers forward. I'm pulling these spearmen forward because they're not really helping my base anymore. His scouts are gone. And I'm almost walled up anyway. It really wasn't a great engagement for me. The spearmen hitting my cavalry, and yeah, these guys were just too late. I should have pulled back and waited for those guys to get there. And obviously, these wolves just weren't helping at all. And look, there's another one. Just, yeah. 
know, I'm such a pain. Playing a more archers puts me more on the advantage. Keep that archer range production up. Let's see what you're doing. Yep. Oh, that's just not a good thing. You don't want to have one queued up a whole bunch and the other not at all. He's going for a third archer range. He's going for more aggressive build. Uh, he's got a lot more villagers on gold than I do. I just have the seven. This villager should be on the other side and really shouldn't have your weak villagers here. They should be over here so they can get in the town center quickly. That's my fault. It's not good. I go this a little bit. That scout's going to be a real pain. He probably could have pushed that. Another lumber camp here would be great for him. And Oh, now he's getting a blacksmith. He's really slow on that blacksmith. And I still haven't even got my upgrades, so that's terrible, actually. And I have way too much wood. Uh, another lumber camp for me would be great. And... Yeah, really, uh, more farms would be ideal. Uh, I'd get more food, because I'm obviously stocking up to go to Castle Age. Or even throw them on gold, because I'm having a gold issue. I was, you can see I'm throwing villagers over there. And it's really a game about balancing your eco. That's a huge part of this. Just trying to stock up archers. He's obviously going to have a military advantage here in a little bit, because he's going a lot more archers. But I have more farms up. Probably. Yeah. So, he only has 400 food, and here I am with... Well, I just got wheelbarrow. I had 800. I wanted to go up, but I didn't have enough gold. So I'm just getting wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow's good to get. I like to get around when I have 30 villagers. That's bad engagement. I should have patrolled in. Um, this isn't going to go good for me because he has these scouts and he really should push this he's not playing aggressively he's got three ranges up I only have two ranges so he should really uh... look at these idols these guys just finished I'm focusing more over here but she's probably been idle for a while that's never good there you go found those still forgot about her and I don't know sh he has I just think he has the two. I usually don't. Usually people go castle a little faster than that. I'm about to go castle once. Once I finish wheelbarrow. There you go, castle age right away. Yep, see, he's gonna start taking a military advantage. I need to keep these ranges producing. And I should throw more ranges up, which I will. Usually on a Hunt's War, I like to go four ranges once I'm going to Castle Age, so I'm going to throw some more ranges up, and you'll start to see my wood starts to become a little more even. I probably could have gotten these up a little sooner, but I don't really have the gold for it right now, and I can just use the wood for more town centers or something. So see, I'm going to... I probably got a hill bonus there. can't really tell too much, but I got a villager. That's, that's great. Try to make a hole here. And uh, this is not going to be fun. Uh, I have plus one armor. He doesn't. We both have fletching, of course, even though we we're both so late to get that. So I'm going to go up this hill. I'm pretty sure I get killed here, but I had the hill advantage. I... He should he should really pull this way, and he should get on the hill as well. He has a number advantage, but you never really want to fight downhill. And I know he's got the number advantage, but you're going to see he... He's going to lose quite a bit more, I think. He's microing this pretty well, or probably actually not microing this at all. I'm not really. I kind of just forgot it. Or not forget about him. I was dealing with these guys who... Apparently there's a hole here somewhere. Um, yeah, you know, it always sucks when you think you're walled up. Okay, me, I'm not dealing with this. I don't know what I'm doing. These guys are walking back now. But you can see he lost a lot more there than he should have. He could have gotten up, walked up here, and that would have been a lot worse for me. And this is just ridiculous. Where are these guys coming? Right here, maybe? No, they just, they run right through the stable. That's right. Just run right through the stable. Getting bloodlines. Going cavalry archers, obviously. Um, well, I still have too much wood. That's not good. I need to put them on gold. 
Definitely not enough gold. Not a good job balancing here. And I really need Bodkin Arrow. Being crossbows, throwing Cal Valtteries up. I don't have enough for Bodkin. That's an issue. I got these archers. I now have the tech advantage. So I want to wanna use that to my advantage. I'm going to start massing cow archers. And did I already get Bodkin? No. Just forgot about it. So now the wood looks a whole lot better now. I'm starting to get a town center up. Rebuild my farms. Getting upgrades. One of the main upgrades you want to get is bow saw and you should definitely already have double bit axe if you don't that is a huge problem huge problem and finally getting bodkin <sighs> not gonna be such a big deal because by the time i get there i will have it i hope i would think starting to mass cavalry archers and let's see how where he is as far as going up and he's already almost up so good job on him and definitely really late, but he was on three ranges, or yeah, three ranges. Now he's on four. That's good. Uh, I could have patrolled that. And he's not had the upgrade advantage. Really, when I micro this, I should be pulling back more. Again, I'm on the hill, but he's just got so many, it doesn't even matter. Um, but since I outranged him, I could be standing, you know, back here shooting him and he can't get there. I don't know why he doesn't didn't just kill him. Uh, He's got the numbers, but now he's gonna lose villagers. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. He shouldn't. That's good. Uh, let's see. These scouts are just standing here doing nothing. And my cavalry archer is gonna have a hill advantage here. These guys are. Did he lose a villager? Almost. So close, so close. And that's not good. I don't... You don't really want to trade cavalry archers for archers. That's never really that great. But he doesn't have the upgrade. And I really want to be on the hill now. Now he has crossbows. I'm gonna get the, get the hell out of there. Uh, I have plus two armor. He just has plus one. He has bodkin already. Good, good. Let's see... I assume he got both saw. He's got these idols here. That's a shame I didn't kill that. Keep those villagers coming. I am over here on two town centers. Throwing some more on wood. Starting to have too much gold. This gold's very saturated. I'm mean, gonna wanna be, be moving to these other golds. Uh, town center here would be good. Need to, need to keep these producing. There you go. Just went through them all. I'm gonna try to find a hole in here. I know he's walled, but there could be a way around here. I was I saw this here and you know he's got villagers chopping wood, or at least you would think he would. Should it sounded weird. He's starting to go cavalry archers now. He has more military than I do. He's still missing the plus one. He has bloodlines, that's good. And obviously he doesn't have ballistics yet. That's a very expensive upgrade to get. You got to build a university first, and then ballistics alone costs 300 wood. So that's a very expensive upgrade. It's better, in my opinion, to get your town centers up. And yeah, here's all his archers. I'm gonna see him. Yeah, I'm gonna see him. I'm gonna run. Get out of there. That was a really bad way to run. I don't. I think I actually took any damage from that, so maybe it wasn't so bad. Just trying to get in the eco harass where I can. I like to attack from multiple angles, and you can see this gold. He wanted to TC this gold, which is good, but there's just no way to put a town center. I think he could have put one here, and that would have been much better. I had to pause for a little bit. But yeah, a town center right here. I think he could have done it. That would have been better. And he's going to lose a few villagers. And he's coming here. I know he's here. I'm building this town center here. I'm trying to get a little defensive. These are doing nothing. I'm kind of focusing here. I don't know why he pulled off. He really shouldn't. He could stand here and I couldn't hit him. So now he just has all these idle villagers and his town center is late to go up. And he's gonna lose two cavalry archers for free. Uh, these guys got here in the wood line. I 
you know, it's always easy to look back and say what you should have done. I should have put a wall here. That would have made that better. But on the other hand, he would have seen the wall. Then he would have come up this way and found my town center and it wouldn't have gone up. I also like cavalry archers here for not that much. Maybe since I have so much wood, uh, Manganel. Uh, building a quick siege workshop and a Manganel would have been good. Alright, these guys are now coming back to help. He's now fighting downhill, not sure why he did that. This is stupid, I still had that villager. I still had the TC garrisoning over there. I know these guys are coming, garrison in. And now he's fighting under the TC, that's not good, he's not paying attention. I'm starting to rally all my cavalry archers. It's really what you want, he's losing a lot. I have enough wood right now. I should be building a university up. There's still a hole here. I... I guess here? I don't know. Sometimes I hate the walling in this game. So he just lost his archers. That's good for me. Uh, he's got a lot of cavalry archers. He's on four rangers still. That's what I'm on. What's going on? Keep your town centers producing. Yeah, definitely gonna need more uh, good replenisher lumber camps. I'm starting to build a lot more farms. Take a lot of issues I see with other players is they don't move their villagers around. You see, you have way too much wood, not enough food. Take your villagers off your wood, put them on food. Ideally, you don't want to do that, but unless you're really good and can tell. You know, playing it all ahead. I mean, that's definitely ideal that you would never have to do that, but I'm I not that good. He's got lumber camp here. He should probably build another lumber camp here. I wonder if he's struggling with wood actually. No, he's doing okay on resources. He's pretty well balanced. I mean, I'm thinking about Imperial Age art. I'm thinking about I want to get ready to go to Imperial Age. Uh, gonna come here. I really like this spot for harassing, so I just want to keep coming and abusing it. So I can. I know he's mining gold here. I know he's chopping wood. And. Oops, stand there. Oh, just got this up. That's good. Now these guys ran out of gold. That's not good. I'm moving him over here. Killed a bunch of villagers. Okay, I killed. One villager. And I'm gonna go back to my hill here. These guys, you know, they just kinda wanted to fit in. He should not he should not do this engagement. This is bad for him. Although the problem is is he has no gold. He's got nine gold left here. This is his other gold. He really needs to take that. And I I knew I wasn't sure. I thought his other gold was maybe somewhere around here. I, I When I was playing the game, I didn't even realize that that was his gold. I knew this was a gold-heavy spot, but now he's got this ridiculous heal to deal with right next to his gold, and that's just that's not good. And you can see he's probably running out of gold, and you know, ranges, trying to produce, running out of resources. He's got lots of food. Not spending. Maybe his town centers are idle. Yeah, it's not really good. Is that no a stone? And I probably shouldn't have left that engagement. I think I thought he had a lot more than he did. Uh, same upgrades. He has a university. I'm assuming he had Bodkin. He's no, he doesn't have Bodkin. So I I have Bodkin. Pretty sure I have Bodkin. Now I'm over here coming in here. He's got these villagers that were, oh. I don't know what they were doing. Oh, he ran out of gold. He didn't know what they were doing either. My gold sucks. Yes, your gold did suck. It really did. And uh, he's gonna pill around here and probably think about why his gold sucks so bad. I, man, I just had way too much wood this game. I, I don't know why. That's bad. Oh, going for the side gold here. Got pretty good saturation here. Uh, going for stone. Want to put a castle up so that when you get Imperial Age, you have that castle there to get conscription and trebuchets and important upgrades like that. And you see his military is just 
He's starting to get outnumbered. He, uh, you know, mining camp here would be good, so you don't have to walk as far. Put one on the other side, but at this point doesn't really matter. It's pretty much game over. He's just, he's just probably looking around and just marveling at the size of my army and what a crappy map he had. What would my, I think that's supposed to be third gold. Where, where would his third gold be? Yeah, we were, we were talking about it. And yeah, I get five close to me. Yeah, my main one had one here, had one here, and then this is the secondary. I mean, kind of in the middle of the map, but yeah, it's, it's a shame. He really had a bad map. That was kind of a shame because he's a it's a pretty good matchup. But you see, his main army was over here, so I came in through the side, and you know, cavalry archers here would have been great on this hill. So, anyway, that's the game. Go ahead and look at the achievements here. That's probably really loud. He was killed, largest army. Economy. I got Castle Age faster, got my TCs up faster. You can see the eco difference was huge. Uh, there's a lot of harass that was in that as well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the game, and I'll see y'all later.